So guys, let me introduce you to what we're going to be cooking today. Today we're going to be cooking our very most Nigerian delicious native soup, which is a uh, draw soup. We call it draw soup. In my place, we call it omoye. So we're going to be making omoye today and let me list out the ingredients for you in case you'll be trying this delicacy. So our main ingredients is the um, obola itself and we have our uh, fresh from cow, cow meat. We have our goat meat here and we have our dry fish. I dry this fish all by myself in the oven and we have our um, another type of dry fish here yeah, um, I forgot the name of the fish here yeah. so um, <laughs> it's not it's not quite important and you can see it's very small because I don't like that I don't like that specific fish here yeah. and my kids doesn't also eat it too yeah so uh, I have um, what's it called crayfish another very good ingredient to add to this and we have our mangi mangi to taste here we have salt to taste and then we have champion so this champion is uh individual it's not um it's not important that you add it but i just want to add it to this soup here and we have our oil without oil the soup is not soupy yeah it's not giving so guys this is all we got for the soup yeah oh i'm forgetting one thing we got a native maggi I always don't want to forget this because this is native maggi. I always put it in my freezer because it stinks so much and you don't want it to get spoiled. So because you don't want it to get spoiled, you put it in the freezer. So I have this for my mom. My mom brought this for me and it's still much fresh because I put it in the freezer. So this is something we call local beans, locust beans. It's made from locust beans, something like that. And it's, I normally call it native maggi. That's what I call it. So it's very good for this type of soup. So guys, let's get started. Hmm? First of all, we're going to be cooking our, uh, our meat. Okay. So first of all, we're going to be needing our meat. that I just put in there we're gonna use it to wash the meat out yeah so to get this bad blood out <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do so just pick pick out the crayfish to see if there is any dead one so we can blend it into the fish here. Yeah. 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 yeah, so this is it. Whenever I'm picking the crayfish, those little, 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 little cutie will definitely come to eat on my crayfish. You see them? They eat on the crayfish. So now we cover and let it cook. Yeah, and then we can focus on other things. So to blend our crayfish, we need to blend. Let's go and blend our crayfish. Ready to blend. Okay, fine, I'm gonna. So we have that. 
since our mint is boiling our beef is boiling so the next step is we have to mint this over now now this is where a lot of people fail in making the soup they fry the soup instead of this method I'm about to use so this is method my mom my grandma taught me yeah so some people actually use this method in a, uh, make this soup in a very wrong way now let me show you guys so this is it this is where a lot of people make a mistake so all you have to do is just to stir to loosen this up yeah you stir to loosen it up So you see it now it's losing right it's losing mind you make sure your gas is on low heat it's on low heat my gas is currently on low heat and I'm losing it so I'm not frying it or putting onions inside this soup doesn't require onions and it's a very simple soup when you watch it it's a very typical native soup so if you don't know how to cook it just watch it now so you know how to cook it this is the best recipe okay <laughs> so this recipe but is the, like red cream yeah that's the most important recipe for and, this soup and that's the, any know, other recipe it's not the recipe of the soup okay this is it this is it. It's a native soup. This is how we lose it, our own here, our umbrella soup. This is how we lose it. We don't fry it. We put it on a low heat. You can also put it on a plate and press it on top of your meat stock. Yeah? You can also put it on a plate and press it on top of your meat stock. And then the heat, the heat from there will loosen it up. Right? The heat from inside we're losing it up so we just put it in on top or top of heat and then you lose it up just like what I'm doing now yeah wow. yeah look at how thick it is it's thinking now come closer come closer look at it it's not thin look at it you see it it's not boiling it's not boiling, it's not cooking, it's just losing. Mommy, the team What? That's getting wet. Oh my god, guys, I got a whole team looking at me. A whole team came to cook. <laughs> They're only checking what I'm doing. So the whole team is coming to check what I'm doing. Evelyn, what did you say just now? Of Bono, what? Say it again, Heaven. Of Bono. Nine. That is not what you said. Of Bono. Of Bono. Of Bono. Of what? Of Bono. Of Bono soup. Of Bono. Mommy, it's the Bono. It's the Bono soup. Um, why is it in this color not in yellow? It's not yet yellow because we just trying to lose it and we already lose it. So my gas is already off from this. So everything is loose already. I bet you my kids are going to be a very good cook. They're going to be a great cook when they grow up. <laughs> so at this time we have to put our stockfish inside. Now remember the name stockfish. So we have to put our stock in, stockfish inside. You now stockfish is a little bit strong so we put that inside so it can get a little bit soft, softer. It's already cooked already but just want it softer. And let's get other things ready. Now we have to get this fish ready. 
So now we get the fish ready. So we just have to take our. Get the fish. Get the fish. Get the fish. Get the head. The bones. So I'm gonna be keeping one for myself to drink Gary. <laughs> so I'm keeping one for myself to drink Gary. Can you guys imagine? <laughs> so um, um, our beef is almost ready and the 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 water is drying off. The water is drying off so Let's put that in there. Add the last maggie to it. And we pick up our white water and add to it. You see it? That's it. So we don't want our fish to get broken, so we just, you know, adjust it a little bit. So the water goes the stock the meat stock you know and we're gonna let it cook a little bit and then we're gonna taste for salt Like I say, we have to turn this like a professional so we don't get to break the fish. So we turn like a professional. We're gonna need a lot of water. Eh? But first of all, let's get our soup ready now. So we gotta get the fish out. So we get all the fish out because the reason why we get the fish out is we don't want the fish to get broken so ladies learn this before your man start asking you where is the fish she, she he gave you money to buy before you break all the fish in the soup so learn this method okay and don't let your man to be telling you, you don't know how to cook you have to break all the fish in the soup So because I need space to turn my soup, to turn my ogbalo, so I take all the meat out too. Because the pot is not wide enough, so I need a lot of space. So now guys, look at that. This is exactly what you do. So we add a little bit of water and I'm gonna add water a little bit again. The water is very much important. We're going to low our cooker. We're losing it. We don't want any crumbs on it. If you want to make a very perfect open soup, this is what we do. So you see, 
see the reason why the fish is being removed and the beef also because I need space to work. You want it to be very smarmy. Oh. Alright, just let me do okay. Look at that. No turning. To losing it. Step by step. We don't want to be a very bad cook, okay? This soup is something you need to stay focused, get the details. and borrow the energy from to lose in this soup. You need it. Huh? Have you ever wondered why Asian girls they know how to cook? Have you ever wondered that you've never seen an Asian girl that doesn't know how to cook? Never. You cannot see. My dear, if you see, it did not grow up in Asian land. You can never see Asian land, Asian girl that doesn't know how to cook. I'm a confirm Asian girl. So we're going to put the meat in it. Look at that. Look at that pot of soup. It's giving. See my fish? The stick all intact. Just want to show you so you see it. You see another one? They are all intact. Hmm? Nothing else. I'm going to start it in my freezer. Cook for like until 10 minutes. Yeah, it's been cooking. 
So it's gonna cook for another 10 minutes and then it's gonna be ready. So now I wanna make puree for my baby string. Mm -hmm. So guys, this is how to cook your fella soup. Look at that. Look at that part of Aguila soup. So guys, look at that sip. Look at that. Look at that. So my soup is ready. And we are ready to pack it now. Hmm? So let's pack it. We mostly eat everything together, which is we don't make different food. So each bowl we go for at least one or two days. It's gonna go into the freezer. Just bring that from the freezer and then but to froze it and use it. So you can see. Thank you for watching.